Jake, Suva said in my mind, just as I finished putting the rest of the weapons and armor away. Yes, I asked. I found that new maid, the one who makes runes. Her name is Selakar, and she works as a magical scholar, Suma said. Is there any mention of where she works? I wondered. Unfortunately, no, but this does get us a step closer. There are only so many places in the city where one can work as a scholar. I'll ask around those places and see if anyone knows her, she said. Thank you, Suma, I appreciate it, I said. By the way, have you had a chance to go collect your, um, what did you call it? She asked. My armor? Yeah, I got it. By the way, thank you. Seal gave me the weapon you commissioned from him for me, I said gratefully. You're very welcome, Suma said happily. But, um, who is Seal? You know, the blacksmith, I said. Oh, I didn't realize he was a name Nume, she said surprised. Well, he wasn't, but I named him, I said, hoping it wasn't illegal or something. There was a small pause before she finally asked her question. Um, okay, but why? Why what? I asked, not understanding the implications of the question. Why did you name him? She clarified. Well, why did I name you? I pointed out, with a fair amount of smugness in my voice. This is followed by another pause. I suppose you make a good point, she stated, realising that I had no reason to name her either, and it was probably best not to throw stones in a glass house. I named him because he was a friend and he deserved the name, I told her. Well, what's done is done. Once a name is given, it can be taken away, only given up. So, how are you feeling? She questioned. I'm fine, why'd you ask? Well, you named someone, are you tired? She wondered. N no. Why would I be tired? I asked, confused. Because naming someone requires manner. It drains a bit of your life force to give another being a name. She explained to my shock and bewilderment. What? Since when? I asked, stunned. Are you telling me you never noticed? She asked. Should I have? I said. Well, I guess you wouldn't. But someone with a normal life force density would have felt it. She explained. Hold on. I have like a thousand questions right now. Why wouldn't naming someone require manner? What happens to the person who receives a name? How didn't I know this? This was like something I should have known. I asked the questions rapid fire. Well, when you name someone, you are giving them your manner, and it makes them a little stronger, or sometimes much stronger. Did that happen to you? I wondered. Yes. When we met before you named me, I was a lower class medium level mage. Now I am upper class medium level. Well, in power at least, I still have to pass my test to officially receive my promotion, she exclaimed. So what will happen to Seal? I asked. He will probably see an increase in power, but he is rather old, so I doubt it will be too noticeable, Suma told me. Well, hopefully it will help him, I shrugged. Anyway, like I said, I picked up my armour and it's already back at my house. Sue and I spent a while figuring out how to make it so that I wouldn't have to name all six pieces of the armour individually, but as a whole. Well, I say we, but she did all the work, really. However, she figured it out. She tried to explain it to me by saying it was like breaking the spell into parts and performing each section of the spell on the accompanying piece of the armour, then uniting them with binding magic. In the end, she seemed confident. Okay, excellent. Have you thought of a name for it yet? Sumer asked. I have. Jericho.